Hello, middle schoolers. Today we're going to talk about vocations. And a vocation is a calling from God. Every person has a vocation. There's a lot of different vocations. You can be a student, you can be a family member. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can do. But today we're going to talk about vocations as adult and as it pertains to the church. So like I said, vocation is a calling from God. There are two types. Particular. So that is your state of life. So when you're an adult, whether you are married, single, religious, or priest, that is a particular type of vocation. The general type of vocation is something you guys are living now. All baptized Christians have a general vocation to build the kingdom of God. We'll talk about that later. All right, so our vocation calls us to build up society in a manner that reflects God's love. Every person is a part of that. We're building up our church community and our society as well. So anytime you guys do something, um, something good for somebody else, whether it's here at school or just in life in general, you are building up the kingdom of God. You're fulfilling your vocation as a baptized believer. One, the first vocation we're going to talk about is marriage. You profess vows to another person for life that you will stay true to them and you will build kind of a kingdom, a community for them, like your family. You create a family or community, like I said, to help others reach heaven. So you, you take those vows as a married person to help that other person and your children reach heaven. The second type of vocation is religious life. This is a sister, a brother, a nun, or a monk. So they take vows. They will um, take vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. They dedicate their lives to God. Not that we don't. We are just dedicating ours in a different way. They serve God and his people through prayer and service. They spend most of their days praying, living in a community called a monastery or convent, and serving others. Their primary ministry is through prayer, and so that we all need prayer, and so they spend their entire adult lives praying for all of us. Another type, so we've got marriage, we've got religious life, we've got priesthood. Priesthood can be, you can be a diocesan priest like Father Nick, or a religious community, uh, Jesuit, Dominican, Redemptorist, Franciscan. There are different types of community, religious communities that provide priests to people all over the world. Um, our for former bishop was a Redemptorist priest, Cardinal Tobin. Uh, we had a priest here a couple years ago named Father Eric. He was a Franciscan priest. However, Father Nick is a diocesan priest. All the priests are Catholics. They all can perform sacraments for the faithful. That is their vocation. That is their calling. And they also take three vows, poverty, chastity, and obedience. Finally, the final vocation is single life. It is characterized by a radical openness to where they are being called by God. They do not have a spouse or children, so they have a lot more freedom to answer that call from God. And God is calling them to serve the church, like I said, with abundant freedom. They don't have um, the responsibilities of answering to a family or worrying about children or things like that, so they can have a lot more time to build the kingdom of God. So these are the type of vocations marriage, single life, priesthood, religious. And we all have one because we are all baptized believers. I will be putting our, we have a seminary that we have to pray for and write letters to, and I will be putting his information on Google Classroom. Thanks and have a good weekend.